Neiman. Coming in as a, a, a gray shirt almost, and that, he catches 65 passes maybe last year. Does that Kevin Casper kind of? Yeah, yeah, it shows us uh, how good we are in evaluating. I think both he and uh, Julian Vandeville are two gray shirts, and both played really well for us. So that that is. You know, that's, that's personnel evaluation to a T. You know, some, some players are really obvious, and then others you're not sure about. And, uh, you know, I think it really gets down to the intangibles uh, that players have, they possess. And, uh, you know, you talk about Julian Vanderbilt, he wants, what he did once he got here, and the same thing with Matt. You know, Matt has just worked extremely hard, uh, actually played as a true freshman. So, um, you know, the guy gets an opportunity, comes in with a great attitude, and, you know, you talk about intangibles like that, and that certainly is Kevin Casper. You know, they're not the same player necessarily, but uh, they have those attributes, and those are, those are certainly good attributes. Uh, you know, on offensive receiver position, certainly is, uh, you know, we lost uh, two really good players there with uh, Defon and, and Jake. So, you know, how the young player is going to come along, how they're going to develop, how they're going to push forward. I feel pretty good about, you know, knowing what Matt Vandenberg, what he is and who he, who, who he is, how he'll play. I believe, Kirk, it was the uh, <coughs> Illinois game where Jeremy Smith really in that first half made some spectacular plays, a true freshman. How big is his development for what you want to do in offense by the time fall comes around? Well, you know, we lost a really good player in Tavon, certainly. So uh, that whole, the whole group, you know, we're going to need some guys to step up. And we're pretty young in that group. And uh, Germanique is one of the guys. He and Adrian are both guys that we played as true freshmen. Looking down the road a little bit, kind of like we did with Tavon and Drew uh, three years ago, uh, just looking at the future and thinking that, you know, maybe we need to get these guys involved. Not that they played a lot, but involved in the offense on a daily basis and what have you. So hopefully that experience will carry over and give them a chance to, to push forward. And uh, wouldn't expect him to play like a senior next year or uh, Adrian the same way. Uh, that, that's going to be Vandenberg's job and uh, McCarron's job to play like seniors. But hopefully, talk about that next group coming up. Those guys have to be in that group. And this will be a big spring for him, a real good opportunity. Yeah, Coach Germany, he seemed like he was able to stretch the field when he was in there last year. Do you see that from him in practice? Yeah, he does. He, he really uh, he runs well, and he's he's got um, you know good sense out there as a receiver. Really plays the position well. He's tough, tough-minded, and competes for the ball. So he does a lot of good things, and that was integral in our, our thinking as far as you know playing him last year. And uh, hopefully, the experience he got again will help him uh, progress here this spring. We saw a lot of Jonathan Parker sort of trying to use his speed as a freshman, um, moving to receiver as a freshman last year. Where's he at in his development? You know, we talked about the receivers, and, and he's part of that uh, part of that group certainly. And I, I would call last year kind of a developmental year for him. He didn't get a lot of touches in, in game situations, but like I talked about the two freshmen, uh, you know, he got a lot of quality work at that position. It was new to him, and every position is different. So there's certainly a lot of learning going on. Uh, we feel like he's improved, and we're all as a staff really eager to see him on the field these next 15 practices because um, you know. Players in college tend to tend to improve if they're doing things right. He works hard. He's got a great attitude, so I think uh, you know, he's obviously got good speed and some good talent. So hopefully, he can help us out there.